Hey loves, your girl Anna is here again, and of course the scandals in the TikTok community won't stop coming. And to be honest, I'm still wondering till this day if Bryce Hall will ever stop talking about Ariana Grande, because he's now back at it again, throwing more shade at her. And y'all already know, your girl always comes prepared with even more tea, because in today's video, we are also going to be talking about Danielle Cohn and Mala Trevejo being problematic. So without any further ado, let's see what all the tea is all about. What's up with all these TikTokers coming at Ariana Grande all of a sudden? I mean, not that I'm taking sides, but Ariana barely even threw shade at TikTokers and they're still boiling with anger about it. And if you guys have no clue what I'm talking about, well, I will insert a clip of Ariana talking about TikTokers and I want y'all to tell me just one thing wrong with it. Couldn't we have just stayed at home for a few more weeks like all the other countries that were fine and are better than we are? Like, did we really all need to go to Saddle Ranch that badly that like we couldn't have waited for the deathly pandemic to pass? Was she wrong? Did she tell any lies here? Exactly, you guys. And the weirdest part about this is that the second Ariana said this, a lot of TikTokers, including Dixie, Addison, and Bryce Hall thought it was totally unacceptable. And they somehow tried to act like Ariana wasn't pointing fingers at them in her clip. But deep inside, we all know they were embarrassed about it. However, loves, weeks after this drama went down, we saw another TikToker getting dragged by the internet for shading Ariana. And of course, it was none other than Willy Wonka himself. Now, I must say, all the shade that was thrown by these TikTokers was nothing compared to what Bryce has said about Ariana. The the last time he mentioned Ariana, he accused her of being a clout chaser and said she's trying to gain publicity by dissing him and other TikTokers. She's not wrong, but like unnecessary. Necessary to call call out a specific group, especially when there's other people doing it. I mean, it was obviously like a like a marketing move and good for her, but like she's not wrong. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, ever since that happened, Bryce has been receiving tons of hate every day from many different people, including a TikToker who recently made a video that went viral, where he basically called out Bryce for shading Ariana. Take a look at this. Who gave Bryce Hall this much confidence? So I'm pretty sure by now you've seen a lot of TikTokers think that they have beef with Ariana Grande because of what she said. Dixie, Addison, and now Bryce Hall. Nowhere did she mention any TikToker's names. A marketing move, I hate to break it to you, Bryce Hall. Ariana Grande is not thinking about you. After this video was posted, for some reason, it received a huge amount of support to the point where it got 400,000 likes in under three hours. But you guys know that Bryce Hall wouldn't be happy to see his name being roasted all over the internet. So he responded by supporting Ariana in the comment section. Why wouldn't I be confident when, for example, you make a video talking about me gets 400k likes in three hours lol anyways stream positions not long after he made this comment the entire internet including ariana's fandom wasn't pleased and came after him and a lot of people thought he was trying to run away from the drama by standing up for ariana after he saw her entire fandom still dragging him you literally think that she knows who they are like no no because he's so embarrassing why did he even try with ariana not him saying stream positions after he shaded Ari. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Bryce still being dragged for defending Ariana? Do you think he will finally learn from his mistakes and stop messing with A-list celebrities? Let me know in the comments down below. Danielle Cohn, honey, you're really trying your best to be less problematic, but sadly, it's not working. In fact, you guys, this girl keeps getting pushed into a new drama every single day. Now, shockingly, I don't think we have seen Danielle in too much drama recently, but um, she's now back at it again and of course it includes her mom as well this all started after danny decided to answer one of her fans comments which was a question about her nationality now in case you didn't know there's a lot of confusion that is still going around about whether danielle is fully american or not and well just when danielle made everyone believe in the past that she's mixed she decided to clear up the air this time by saying this it was a misunderstanding basically i didn't know my dad was a 
adopted until recently. I'm sorry if I offended anyone, I truly am. I wasn't sure of my nationality at the time. I recently found out and was told my dad is Arab, but I'm still not completely sure. This is why I try not to answer questions about my nationality because I'm not even sure. Okay, and what do you want me to do about that? And guys, not a split second after she said this, Danielle received a lot of hate as many people assumed her mom wrote this paragraph and not Danielle. However, Danielle later clarified that her mom doesn't have access to any of her accounts. I bet her mom wrote that child. My mom doesn't even have access to my accounts, huh? And while Danielle Cohen was making it quite clear that she wrote the comment herself, the situation got a lot worse when her fans didn't believe her at all. And she instead ended up later making a full video proving that her mom doesn't control any of her accounts. Take a look at this. Everybody um, is always talking about how my mom posts for me. I don't even know. Is like logged into my account or something. So I wanted to show you guys proof really quick. Um, this is this is this is not my phone. This is her phone. As you guys can see, her account. And when you go to um, switch it, the only other account is her old account. Um, that doesn't make no sense. Anyways, now you're probably thinking that people would start believing Danielle because she's actual evidence to her fans that her mom's not possessive over her. But. Mm, Nope. People kept assuming that her mom owns all of Danielle's accounts and that she would have logged out from Danielle's accounts in the video. She could have logged out. <laughs> well, we all know you logged out. Wow, it's not like Jen can log out of the account and log back in. She just logged out of Danielle's. Does Jen think we're dumb? Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on people still making assumptions about Danielle? Let me know all your thoughts about the situation down below. How many times do we have to warn y'all that Mal Trevejo is not the girl to mess with since she will end up coming for anyone that starts beef with her. Purr. Purr. Yes, purr. If you guys have seen a couple of my videos before, you've probably seen the juicy drama that went down between Mal Trevejo and the boxer Ryan Garcia and how they both got dragged on the internet for kissing each other since Ryan is in fact married and has two kids from two different mothers. But Mal ended up pulling herself out of drama after she accused Ryan of hiding the entire truth about his wife and kids from her. And yeah, he to never told me that he was engaged. And he never told me that he had another baby coming. And, well, it all went downhill from here because Ryan's old and recent wives came through and exposed Ryan for cheating with Malu. I know, you guys, this drama is a lot to take in, but trust me, it gets much better. After this whole scandal went down, we didn't hear much on either Mal or Ryan for weeks on whether they're still dating or not. However, it seems that it's all been brought up again since people are still calling Malu a homewrecker. And as you guys know, Malu isn't the type of girl to let people humiliate her on the internet. So she ended up proving that she tried to fix her issues with Ryan's own wife by posting her private messages with her on her story. I said, hey, got a second to talk. She said, what's up? I said, so I wanted to say that I'm truly sorry but I never knew that he had another girl and that he had a baby coming. I asked him most of the times and he told me that he had an ex-wife, but he did never tell me about you. And that shit is mad disrespectful. And honestly, you deserve better. You're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you can have any man that you want that's worth it. And then she's like, I'm sure he didn't. Period. Period. And not only did Malu prove that she isn't a homewrecker, but she even posted a small screenshot on her story basically showing how they are both done with his drama as well. Hey, can I please see what he said? I'm done with this mother lies. I don't know why you're still with him. He made you look dumb and me, lol. After this, you guys, the drama got way more interesting as Malu posted screenshots of her messages with Ryan. In fact, it turns out that Ryan was the person who forced Malu not to post anything after they were caught kissing, since he knew the internet would drag him if he got exposed for cheating on his wife. Yeah, are you just coming or your manager too? But you can't post, you are in Saddle Ranch, cause everyone going to be blasting it. And last but not least, loves, Malu then decided to put an end to this whole mess later on by proving once again that she isn't guilty. When y'all were calling me a home worker and I choked all that shit in. Like, I ain't gonna f***ing not say anything to, to nobody that I don't owe shit to. I wasn't the one doing nothing. Nada. Finito, bitch. Finito. I don't want nobody talking about it anymore. I wasn't the only girl he was talking to or whatever. But at least I saw it coming. Please stop talking about it. Thanks. Now that y'all know everything. Trust. You will be dealt with. Period. Period. 
Anyways, now that the entire situation has finally come to an end, many people suddenly believed Malu after she proved herself multiple times. And y'all, people even defended her by saying she isn't the one to blame in this situation. Come at the guy. He was the one in the relationship. I'm on Malu's side. She didn't do anything bad. It was all Ryan's fault. Y'all need to stop blaming it on Malu. It was Ryan's fault and there is more than enough evidence. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on people blaming Malu for all this drama? Also, let me know your thoughts on today's recap down in the comment section. I love you so much.